Okay, so I thought I'd give you a little outdoors explanation for the difference uh, between background and foreground questions. Here I am on Wimbledon Common, and I'm standing in front of this uh, tree. It's a lovely summer's evening. And so a background question here might be, what type of tree is that? Now, I reckon that's pretty fairly well established. Somebody out there knows what type of tree this is, even if I don't. It's probably got something to do with acorns, because it looks like there's some acorns on it. Another background question, though, is this. If we have a look at this, these leaves, you'll see there's some nice, healthy-looking ones kind of over here. But up here, they're all sort of whittled and whirled away. Okay? Looks like they've got some sort of fungal infection or something like that. So another background question here might be, what is that fungal infection, or what is that infection causing the problem here? So those are two background questions, because they're probably pretty well established. But when it becomes a foreground question, is to say, OK, this tree's got this infection. Now, I want to be able to treat it and prevent this, to, this tree from dying, or prevent it, perhaps, from passing on the uh, fungus to other trees that might otherwise die. So a foreground question might be, what's the best way of preventing this tree from passing on this disease to another tree? OK, so that would be something around prevention. Or we might say, what's the best way to treat this tree? So could we actually um, vaccinate it, or could we spray something over it that would help to get rid of this fungus and stop it progressing and damaging this tree? Those are very foreground questions. Those are questions about the relative effectiveness of something, one treatment, if you like, for this fungal infection, or the prevention of it to something else, passing on to something else. Another question might be, what's the prognosis for this tree? Given this, this tree has got this infection, and let's say we did have some way of treating it, what's the likelihood that this, tooth is, this tree is still going to be alive in 5, 10, 15, or 20 years? That would be another foreground question.